Hey, Paul. Nice to see you. Hi, uh, Nick. Last time we saw you was at the Synth Pedal. Uh, was, uh, where was it? It was in, Brist- um, uh, in London, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Gearfest. Gearfest. You showed us the... the that was talk- that. So that yeah. was the version 2 firmware for the Mantis. Yeah. Which includes the Oscar wavetables. So that's all out, finished. Everyone can in get the that world. download it now. Yeah, lovely. So what's new here? Um, it is the Oscar Rebirth. This is the Oscar Rebirth. We are going to bring it back. We have the rights to it, and we have all the schematics. I've got Chris's hand-drawn schematics at home. Um, Lead engineer Ben's been looking at this. He's um, recreated it using modern techniques, but all the original circuitry exactly as it is. Wow, okay. It's actually running Chris's original firmware in assembler on that fellow there, which is a Z80. Oh, wow, old school. Yes, which we had to pick up on eBay because... You know, it's a 45-year-old chip. In fact, all those socketed ones are 45 years old. Uh, This is a uh, Frankenstein mock-up. We like to show how the sausage is made a little bit. So um, it's exciting to share this with people and so they can see how we develop. What we'll do for the design for manufacture one is we'll probably then emulate the Z80 on something that's a bit more up-to-date and modern. Yeah. It won't make any difference to the sound. I must stress, this will be an exact recreation. You can side-by-side it with the original Oscar it will sound identical. Right, okay. So it's going to be super like that. Obviously, we'll use just modern stuff on the digital side where it doesn't affect the sound. Is this one, I I see there are blinking lights and stuff. Is it actually running? It does. It's running something. Do you want to hear a little? Yeah, let's have a little little We've got to have a little bit of that. Here we go. Ah, there it goes. That's that one. So, I mean, obviously, this is prototype. We're not going to be yeah. there. There's no patches and stuff. In it. What about the livery? How are you going to handle that? Are you going to make so it look exactly the same? We'll, u- we'll use this key bed, which is much more modern and up-to-date. Um, it'll have a chassis somewhat like this. This board will be as, um, as big as we can make it in the space with the little panel, but it will look identical to the original one. We're even going to have a go at making the rubber buffers for either side, which, of course, are iconic, but we can do them in a similar way because of course, because we can do that with them, hopefully, so that you can have those to clip on. Um, the graphics will be exactly the same, but we won't do you those won't be rubber. Doing those, yeah, no. those funny little... Uh, what do they call them? Groins, <laughs> don't they? <laughs> at the seaside, they at do, the seaside. don't they? <laughs> it's in case a wave breaks across it or something. It's going to interrupt the, uh, the, the dust waters. Flow. <laughs> yeah, something like that. I mean, it was obviously to protect knobs and stuff at the time. We won't do that, but um, other than that, we'll graphically make it exactly the same. As I say, it's running the same firmware, so all the functionality is going to be saying right down to the cassette interface, which we're just splitting out. So you'll have a cassette in and a cassette so you, out. Wow. Okay. So literally a for loading you're, not, you're not going to be putting any nope. fancy effects in it or nope, we're not. any other stuff. We're just not a straight touch it. remake. Yeah. Right. It's bringing it back. It's as if 40 years didn't happen, but now we're making it with all the modern techniques and taking all the advantages of what we can do today. Okay, and is this going to be a general release or a pr- a We're going to pr- do a limited run. So at the moment, we've got a sign-up sheet here, which has a few names on it at the moment. Um, if you're out there and you want one, then please go to onepwm.com slash contact hyphen us okay. and fill in that form there and let me know because... Um, if your name's on the list, you ain't coming in. That's going to be a limited run. We're not entirely sure how many. Right. Um, but uh, we're, we're kind of gauging interest and seeing it's going to be a little bit more pricey. This, be, bringing this back is going to be a bit costly. So nominally, we're looking at about two and a half thousand pounds, something right, like that. Okay, but it's for people who really, really want an Oscar. Yeah. Because, I mean, the originals, the, proper Oscar. The, the originals are, I mean, there are various things that fall apart on them, and you know, it's, yeah. a, it's an old. They ch- they change hands for about five thousand, four five thousand, so that would be half the price of that for something that doesn't break, right. because the originals are notoriously. Um, and you were saying, so unreliable. you're running the exact same code on an emulation chip in the in that one, whereas we will be at the moment we're running on the actual chip, but right. when we make it, yeah. Um, you should do a Z80. Uh, version as well like like for th- three or four of them so you know you yeah. only <laughs> people could go really old school totally yeah. totally old school yeah excellent we, uh, and have you got any idea of timings i mean obviously waiting list not, at the moment. E- not exactly we, we've been able to put this together fairly quickly and ben's already on the dfm design for manufacture phase of making the boards you know ready for for us to do the limiting factor will be uh, the cabinetry 
Um, and that's a decision we have to take on whether we can um, make something that's uh, a tooled thing. And that's, again, based on quantity a bit. So there's some decisions still to take on that. So right. I'd, I'd rather not speak to when it's going to come out. Next year, maybe. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, OK. All right, brilliant. So how's everything else going? You've got, uh, obviously, your other, really well, yeah. other so ones here as well. It's, it's fun to show these. These have been made by a chap called Echo Craft. But it just shows the whole principle of the uh, Malevolent and the Mantis of being able to make 3D print your own uh, end caps for it. There's some uh, Ooh, got Mantis some spangles. Mantis ones there. And uh, we're even experimenting, Echo Craft's experimenting with some uh, 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 sawdust filament in the uh, Ooh, 3D gosh. printing, which can be stained. So you can do like a wood stain effect. This isn't it, but this is also showing a different kind of uh, finish, oh, wow. which is rather nice. Yeah. So that's going great. Um, and then, yeah, this is a very compelling package, the Mantis now, because it has those Oscar waveforms in it. It is the evolution of what Chris would have done, and it is a four voice. Yeah. So um, that's the, the current product, and uh, yeah, hopefully that's people are still going to buy that as well. Yeah, <laughs> buy everything. Buy them all. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks, Nick.